let me do my camera straight it would help gosh right so i hope you're all having a lovely day um i am here today filming um my paper page for my next theme for the pop for the six-way swap now um the other day i showed you the alice in wonderland paper theme um i'm halfway through the fabric one and hopefully i should have all the pages finished by the end of the weekend um so this is the the next theme is from the lovely mary now mary um got us lovely ladies together to create the six way swap so hi mary if you're watching um and her theme was vintage sewing so i've made this this is the paper page um and i'm halfway through the fabric page for mary's as well so i thought i'd come on and show you the paper page so for the paper page she wanted some vintage showing so i've gone a little bit different for this um vintage showing what i've done firstly is most of the ephemera and the patterns um i had from the lovely lorna hi lorna who is tailor-made creations, no, not tailor-made creations, tailor-made journals, beg your pardon. And I will drop Lorna's YouTube channel um, in the description bar where you can find her journals that she films and that will take you over to her shop. Um, she got, she's a girl on Etsy. Um, she not only sells her journals, but she sells paper kits, what I call kits um and they're pdf files which means you can print them to your heart's content so this is what i've done so let me bring you down a little bit so for the bottom um in lorna's vintage i think it's called vintage sewing um there was a lot of patterns so i went sort of down that route so um there's i've got here this lady came from tammy hi tammy um when we did a ephemera swap in the group she sent me some of these figurines and i just saw figurines figures and i just figured that figured 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 that that they would match him really well so i've got here um it's just a little tag and it's got spools on and i literally um stamped like a little sewing stamp on the top so that's that now bearing in mind everything's patterned so the idea of my paper pages was even though i was going down vintage sewing i wanted it to be more as if somebody was going into the shop what kind of things would they come across so i'll talk you through it so the first thing we have here is um, another pattern um this is i believe that this is a course jacket no it's a jacket um it's a braided jacket so all patterns again i've popped a little bit of lace at the top nothing too special and some old-fashioned writing lots of journal and spacing in the paper page i put um this is tea dyed and coffee dyed um tea dyed dried and then coffee dyed a little bit of a tag that i've popped in um and it looks oldie worldy so that's why i put it in again you can see all the patterns now behind here there's three pieces of lace so again the idea is if somebody was going into the shop what kind of things they were coming across so what i've done is i've created three and the first one says the outside of the skirt the next one down says the bottom of the skirt and then that one i didn't write anything to um so i was thinking perhaps they were giving examples there would have to be to make things up so that's what i've done there the other side now this came from um lorna's kit as well and there was old-fashioned stitches if i held it up to the camera you might be able to see them and what i've done is i've gone over them on my machine creating the stitches over stitches if that makes sense and i've also trapped in some of the old vintage thread as well that i had in my little stash so the splashes were a mistake they're not on the paper pad they were just me um i had tea on my unit again <laughs> and we landed on my work lucky enough i didn't mind it so much on this <laughs> this um theme so behind you 
is a pattern um, to make a child's and infant's dress and you've got like the old-fashioned measurements at the bottom and then I've left it completely blank on the back the reason I've done that is because because I've done so much to the pages themselves I wanted the ephemera to be more of a writing space that's what I've done there now this piece, if I open it that way to begin with, this is a ladies dress bodice um, from the check material, so it's right at the bottom. And this was in Lorna's kit again. So what I've done on the back, I've got a piece of leather here because I originally thought this was for a man. But needless to say, inside are three different pieces of leather. So you've got a real dark brown one, a blue um one and a like a real thin type of jacket on the bottom because i was thinking perhaps they were given samples of kind of materials they had so that's what went through my mind i inked all the edges and i've done the old-fashioned writing again on that side so that's my first paper page i'll pop all of them and they all belong quite nicely behind each other and that one just slides in like so so my second page is this page so for this page like I say most of the pages I've done something on the pages so I wanted most of them to be where you could write so this is no vintage pattern now it's really really thin and when I first sort of stuck it on I thought oh this is really thin so what I've done is I've stamped over the edges with my Celtic stamp I've had some, I've used a lot of vintage laces that I had in my stash. So for this one, I've put some vintage lace at the top. And then I've printed this on tea dyed paper. Um, it was on completely dyed, it sort of left it to dry. And this again was on um, Lorna's digital kit. So there's all them that p p pulls out. Blah, blah, blah. And then on the other side, and like I say, it's not hugely tea dyed but it's enough so it's not pure white so that flips up then this flips up like so to reveal a lot of writing space and i stitched it with a zigzag stitch all the way around then this i don't know why i keep holding myself with um this section here is a little tuck spot and again i put a little tag in tea dyed and coffee dyed in there so that belongs in there so all this writing space plus the tag at the bottom then bearing in mind that that page flipped up at the bottom then we have a lot of vintage laces um this again come out of lorna's digital kit these two um come out of two different paper pads so I just thought they fitted in nicely. Now that little heart punch there, you would have seen in the Alice in Wonderland paper, paper pages I made, because I actually punched that out singly, um, but this time I left it as it was. So this flips down to create more writing space here. I didn't put any um, pa plain paper, I just left it as it was then you have so let me start at the back then you have another pattern and this time it's for um a local agents wanted everywhere on the seat of eight shillings or more we will send the value in charts and sleeves at wholesale rates also our private terms showing how to make make money easily where there is no agency my return mail will protect our agents write me about agency Woolet Cornwall so I thought that was really cool because it says cut of measurement and um, I just thought perhaps you know that's the way they would have done it sort of in the back in the olden days I left it plain on the back because that's more of a poster so I didn't really want to put anything on the back of that then we have one of these now I think I'm pretty sure this came from Lorna's kit but correct me if I'm wrong Lorna and it did have some writing here um we will see now on the other pages but i've just sort of cut around this because i thought that this looked um the perfect piece to put in this pocket and it says 4158 so that must have been the sort of the pattern maybe maybe 
so this flips up though this envelope i did with the lovely miss rian a couple of weeks ago um it's got to be about two months ago now and i loved it because i thought right i've got to put this in because it's got a jar of buttons and it says the word inspire which to be fair vintage showing really does inspire me because of the way they sewed things the way they just took the fabric and right that was it that's what they were making so i've popped one of them in there and in here is like um a little pattern piece from the huge big pattern i cut out and i didn't want to cut it smaller than that so i left as was so that slides in there just nicely and that's made out of music paper that tucks in behind there then that tucks in behind there and then that tucks in there so there's them there's that page done so the third page um on the third page i actually used the page so i've done a bit of stenciling on here i've done some more stitching now on the top this is two different papers so what i did was i tea dyed some paper and i made sort of a flip so all this is vintage laces and fabric and again with that pattern number there i left cut up this out separate and then i stuck and sewed it on and then i fussy cut that same image out this flips open to reveal the writing and it says Ladies bes bespoke waist with a blouse vest tucked in York outline and tucked of the fancy etten jacket, the collar of which may be, which may be a comp competinated comp changed. I think that word means. <laughs> I hope it does. And then I did a picture of the stamp of, um, of the hat, ladies' fashion wear. So again, loads of writing space so the bottom is a little booklet which i'll explain in a second um still this was printed on tea dyed paper and i'm pretty sure that's come out of rona's paper pad too um i've stitched it on one side and left it open for the other side and the reason i've left it open is because i made a little booklet out with the pattern paper so what i've done is i've now this is um part of the pattern but i have actually used my i've got a big massive um stamp sewing stamp and i actually stamped on top of it so it's always look it looks as if it's always been there but that's not the case it's just because it's old and it's like more like tissue paper but i've stamped on it and i stamped on top of it with walnut stain the distress ink again with the uh, vintage laces then it flips open so we'll reveal what this is all about in a second so it's basically like a little mini booklet you've got more more vintage laces there this flips out more vintage laces here and you i mean you could write in here you could add little photos in fact you could because this is more like tissue paper um so it's not going to affect your photos so that's the little booklet and then in that was another pattern and then i made two little tags they're like little snippet tags and uh, one side is the pattern paper and the other side is tea dye paper to write on and i've just added a little bit of vintage lace on the top of each one i'm gonna pop them back in there like so and that just slides in enough so you know it's there so that's what the middle of the pages look like now this is what the last page looks like so again with the vintage laces and little bits of ephemera and stuff and i wrote on the paper as if i was doing the pattern as if they was doing the pattern so i've got best 33 hip 24 um lace coordinating fabric and i was just writing as if they were writing on it so if i take this off i've just popped a bit of um fabric lace trim um i had that from the lovely belinda so i popped it on paper clip and then this pops 
off which i reveal what that's all about in a second and then this is another um sort of advertisement now this was all printed on tea dyed paper and it says best and hips every woman who attempts to make a dress or a skirt whilst immediately discovers how difficult it is to obtain a good fit by the unusual trying on method with her herself for the model and a looking glass with which to see how it fits at the back and it just goes on and i just thought that is just the perfect vintage thing to have so this opens up and this is what would be on the other side so this is on that side so again that little jacket that you see and then on the other side i've got those three different pieces of lace again and it's just completely blank inside ready to be written on and then i've got another one of these and this comes out just like the other one did and they're all little advertisements like that one's lock stitch sewing, sewing machines this one is wool, wood wool for ladies and the top one is free back bank something for buildings it's just really like old advertisements so i thought they were pretty cool then this came out of a stamperia book paper book that i really uh, liked so i added that in and then i added in some of these now i didn't tea stain them or ink them or anything like that but i just left them as they were because i liked the stitches on for them so i left them as they were and and each under each one it'll tell you what stitch it is like for example this one says horizontal border straight border i mean that looks to me like a pretty flower border and then behind that then is a little dress form that i've just not fussy cut it right to the edge but fussy cut it around and then it's plain on the back so they fit in like so that goes like that and then I can't think how I had it on. Uh, there. And then you've obviously got the paper clip on top. So this page, another paper clip, and then I've used my huge manga stamp, stamp on the edges. Again, loads of journaling spaces, and you can see some of the stitches from the other page. And these were, I didn't know what to do with them, to be honest. And I just thought, I can't cut them up because they are so good. I wouldn't want to cut them up. So this one is the Fancy Work Basket, and it shows you how to make a weave basket. And then on the back of that, I'd done some more stamping, and I had a spool that says Handmade with Love, which was pretty cool. And then these ones are, this is a photo engraving, cutting sleeves and how they cut sleeves. So that was kind of cool. I just left that blank. And this one is Bosquet and Wrapper to any chart customer that will send, send us the names and PO of six or more live business ladies that are not our chart owners will receive a beautiful show chart and other matter free by mail address and they just go chicago so again advertisements for sewing so that's my where i sort of went for that and then that one goes behind there so that is my um vintage sewing um what is it vintage showing pa paper pages so I really do hope, and uh, maybe you love my paper pages. Um, like I said, I had so much fun creating with this, and I love sewing anyway. So this was just like it really came natural to me to do. Um, yeah, I really do hope you like it. So until my next video, have a lovely rest of the day wherever you are in the world, and I will catch up with you all in my next video. Let me let me let me know what you think um by hitting the comments in the this comments underneath and when i get my words out i just want to say thank you very much i'll speak to you all in my next video bye for now